amongst the thousands of products made from hemp, one of the most extraordinary is Henry Ford's plastic car. Built in 1941, it contained cellulose fibers derived from hemp, sisal, and wheat straw. The plastic was lighter than steel, yet could withstand 10 times the impact without denting. What I'm not going to be doing is using Justice Department resources uh, to try to circumvent uh, state laws on this issue. Oops, kind of looks like that's what you did more than a dozen times in March alone. So what is your position, Mr. President? Because you keep saying you'll stop the raids, but then you sick armed agents on dispensaries. You say science will guard you, then ignore the studies that say pot has medical benefits. If it's even more evidence you want, then stop messing with scientists who want to conduct more research. And now it's on to fake pot? The Drug Enforcement Agency has banned the five most common chemicals used to make spice. So now manufacturers will simply replace the illegal chemicals with the new ones that might be more dangerous than the banned ones and almost certainly won't be as safe as real marijuana which the DEA's own administrative law judge once called one of the safest therapeutically active substances known to man. Did you inhale? That was the point. <laughs> Most people don't know what hemp is, industrial hemp. Hemp, also known as cannabis sativa, was legal to grow in America in 1936. Hemp was outlawed by the federal government when a marijuana tax act was passed by Congress. This act imposed a $1 per ounce tax on hemp, which prohibited farmers from growing it. In 1942, because they were running out of products for the war effort, they even developed a film called Hemp for Victory. Hemp for Victory was made to promote the virtues of hemp to farmers. Hemp was allowed to be cultivated until after the war. Hemp for victory. Hemp is being grown in China, Canada, and in many other countries around the world. And we are importing it here, the products made from, from hemp. The federal government is cutting out and eliminating the American farmer from access to this cash crop. Hemp can be used to make thousands of products, including biofuels, paper, plastics, building materials, food, and clothing. Any product that can be made from fossil fuels can be made from hemp. It has a myriad of uses. Hemp can be Georgia's new billion dollar crop. It's not about justice, it's not about agenda, it's not about mobilizing people, it's about dialing for corporate dollars. These two parties have sold the U.S. government and the American people to the highest bidders.